dollar. What we're looking at is the five dollar bill. And on this five dollar bill is nothing short than a symbolic biblical blueprint for world domination. It's associated with the plans of one of the lost tribes of Israel. And we're going to find out that the founding fathers, the very architects of our country, believe themselves to be descended from the lost tribe of northern Israel, Ephraim. Ephraim, the descendants of Ephraim, symbolically could be seen as the English, but it exists outside the definition of race. It exists outside the definition of nationality. And then it begins to enter into the association of ideological beliefs, which means many can be of the tribe of Ephraim united by their ideologies. But symbolically, we could connect them to the English. And then, of course, we're looking at English money, the United States of America. When we break these symbols down, the eagle, the olive branch, the shield, and the arrows, it's going to reveal our connection here that our founding fathers absolutely had in their belief that they were connected to the tribe of Ephraim. And that they themselves had a prophesied duty or a job to perform to bring about at all costs this coming golden age of which they themselves believed that if they did the work, they would be exalted in the new age and rule right alongside the God of this world. And that's exactly what we see here on the Iraqi dinar. The Iraqi dinar is nothing short of another symbolic blueprint or document that reveals the 100% exaltation of Ephraim and Manasseh, the leaders of the northern tribe of Israel in the kingdom age. And that's exactly what we see amongst a whole bunch of other things. The destruction of Christianity, the arrival of the Antichrist. Now, we've looked at that a lot. We're going to look at it further in the other series entitled Ephraim and Manasseh, USA, UK. But I decided to break away at this point and just follow this path of this symbol here, which is going to tie up everything else that we've heard that much further. So when I return, we'll take each one of these symbols and we'll show how they have connections to the Mayan calendar, to the end of their ideological world age, the destruction associated with it, the connection to the understanding of a new world order, this false flag scenario that I call the second cup, it's all here. Even the connections to the constellation Orion and how all of this fits in a biblical context. And we're gonna see a perfect biblical match, which will show without a doubt, whether you believe it or not, the founding fathers of this country believe themselves to be descended from this lost tribe of Israel, and they are going to stop at nothing to fulfill their own prophecy about themselves. I urge you to come back, but if you haven't seen the other series, Ephraim and Manasseh, USA, UK, you absolutely must watch it before you return, or you're going to be totally lost. I'll return.